Hey everybody, this is Marty with Sea on the Mountain. I'm with Peyton, and Peyton's looking at her hive uh, this morning, this afternoon, and uh, we're uh, she's. This is part of her. Uh, what's the program again, Peyton? FFA. The FFA, and she's chosen bees for her pro project. And I hope that uh, more young people will choose bees because that's one of our goals at uh, Sea on the Mountain is to have more and more young people. Let me see if I can get this camera up a little bit higher. There we go. And then point it down a little bit here for you. And so uh, Peyton is um, needing a sponsor for this hive. And uh, for the personal or memorial uh, price, it's 200 for the year. And you'll get to help with beekeeping and save bees and get good PR for your business or to honor somebody or just to help. We have uh, the business hives go for 350 for the season. And we always make sure you get something sweet at the end of the year. And we have some other goodies that we're going to send with our package for our supporters at the end of the year. Peyton's going through her hive. Um, it's had a honey super on for a while. And uh, we may take the queen excluder off, depending today, to let them go in there more freely. And then when it gets, uh, they build out the comb about halfway, I, set, I put the queen excluder back on so the queen doesn't go up there. But we'll we'll figure it out as we go. We may not even put a... Queen excluder on, and it won't hurt anything really because we'll just let the uh, um, brood hatch out, and then they'll probably backfill it with honey. She's already taken the lid off. Peyton, tell them why. When you took the lid off, what did you do, or the the inner cover rather? What did you check for when you took that off? I checked for the queen. Right. Just to make sure. Your queen can be on your lid in here. You don't want to put her outside the hive at all possible. Okay, we'll set that back over there, and let's get our smoke and make sure it's still running, Peyton. Got to get our, bring it over here. We're going to get into the, the bottom and, and look through these. We're checking today for uh, queen cells, and uh, make sure that we're not having queen cells. And so on the single brood management system, we want to make sure, uh, we want to probably be into the hive about every 10 days, is what I've learned from my Canadian beekeeping brothers sisters and um, there we go we got some good smoke going there um, so we've got our smoker going Peyton's kind of looked through here and they're not really doing a lot here so that's why I'm gonna probably recommend we take the Queen excluder out and uh, and let them run without that for a while until they get familiar with getting in here so okay Peyton go ahead and work through this there's not much going on here There's a few bees have worked up so we're going to take the excluder out to encourage them to come up faster. We don't have to even do this. You can just take this super uh, honey super off. It's a medium deep honey super. So we're going to take this off. Two hands is better than one. It's good having you to help today, mm -hmm. Peyton. So Peyton is part of our vision at Sea on the Mountain Beekeeping to have young people. So we're going to set this one over here, Peyton. See there's some bees on there? Yeah. I want to be careful with them. So we will set these over here for now, to the side. It should be okay just like that. Um, so here's your queen excluder. Go ahead and peel that off. It's okay on this side. They glue it down. And with these, we're just going to go ahead and bounce them off. Okay, put this to the side. Probably not going to put that back on. So right. when, I, when we assess this hive, what we see here is we see bees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about seven of these frames that are full of bees. They're starting to move into this two more frames over here. I think this is a one, two, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're just about to fill this out. So I'm going to go ahead and leave an excluder off and let them. Did a bee get in there? Yeah. You got stung? Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Peyton got her first sting. <laughs> let's see if she survives. Here, let's see. I think it's still in there. Is the stinger still in there? Okay, let's scrape it. Scrape it out. Take your, you can take your glove off. And scrape it off. And then I'll show you a trick here. I'll get some honey from our bees. You got it out? Good. So notice how calm she stayed. That's what we want to do. She's a natural born beekeeper. <laughs> so let's see if I can find some honey in here. I'm going to do something. I'll show you a little trick. 
Okay. I guess we should have put some. Okay, I'm seeing some queen cells developing. I gotta find some honey. I'm gonna set these over here for now. Make sure my queen's around here. I see a little bit of a queen cell there, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's put it. Here's the. Brood. Okay. I feel a little high right now. I think it's good. Think it's good? Yeah. I got the stinger out. Okay, you got the stinger out. That's weird how they did that. Okay. Yeah, it went up into my so, pants. That's what they do. We'll find some honey later on. Right. Okay, so let's look this frame over, Peyton. Let's give them another smoke. They're not doing so bad. I'll put some honey on it later so it'll draw out the venom. Hi. My wife also has this thing you put in for mosquitoes and sucks out the venom. Hi. And when I find some honey, we'll get you. For my first thing, yeah, it didn't did. hurt as bad as I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> did you do want to get the stinger out? Right. So here we, we're going to look here. See, I see what I see right there. Uh -huh. That's a queen um, starter, but there is no, there's no uh, queen in there. Look down mm -hmm. there. There's no egg in there. So, right. So I go ahead and smush them. Okay, and we're looking for our queen too. We're on this frame. I'll let you hold the frame. So we hold it on the edges. Well, there's a lot of bees here. So if you want to move your bees, Peyton, just blow on them like this. You're blowing them. We're also looking for fresh eggs. This is... Half of this is brood. Um, half of this frame is uh, drones uh, for a uh, cell, and then you got um, regular worker cell. I'm trying to look in here to see if I see any eggs. Oh, there's another queen cup right there. I don't see a queen in there, so we'll just go ahead and smush it. I'm gonna keep them swarming. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for eggs. Can you see an egg in, in any of those? Go ahead and hold that. See if we can find an egg in there. And we're also looking for a queen. Make sure you're in the, in the video. Okay, good. That, they can see you. Good. Okay. Now going to do is set that one aside. Let's set it over here. What we're going to do, take that inner cover off right there. We'll put them in here. Set them right here. So try to keep them off the ground. Yeah, that's going to be one there. These right here. So now we have a uh, room to work. So we're going to work over to where there's less bees. Okay. And just barely. And as we we're trying to take care of the bees as priority. Take care of you priority. <laughs> right? That's why we have the equipment on. Bees next and equipment third. Right. So we don't want to horse this equipment around. It'll be rough with it because it will break fairly easily. So we grab them like this. And I always scan for the queen first. She usually pops right out even though I don't mark her unless she's laying. And I scan over How here. How do you I, mark her? You can mark her with, uh, so there's larvae in there, so we have developed larvae, see them? Mm -hmm. So we know we have a queen in here. Now I see eggs. Look in there, see the little, like, uh, whitish? You can look in there and see the whitish. Those are very young eggs. So she could like be very larvae? close. Yeah, like it's a larvae, but see in the sunlight, you can see like a little, in some of those, you can see like a little curl. Like, and you see the... Do you see the the royal jelly in the bottom? There's like white jelly in the mm -hmm. bottom, bottom. That, that means there's an egg in there. And they're feeding. So there's some eggs here. So whenever you see uh, young eggs, you might see your queen close uh, laying. So we're kind of looking for her. Okay. And then here, this side here, we're looking. 
like to keep them this way. I'm trying to also keep them oriented the way I took them out. All right. I want to put them back in the same way. So here, our lighting is not real good, folks. Um, share, like, and subscribe. And Peyton is looking for a sponsor for her hive, the FFA hive. So what we're looking for here is some more eggs. I don't see any in here. She didn't back lay in here yet. So uh, she has a nice pattern, though. That's a pretty good pattern, and they're hatching out. You're going to have a lot of bees here soon if they hatch out of here. She did lay back, though. I see uh, that going on. All right, let's put them back in. Take another look here. So this older larvae, let me see if I see that right there, that's older larvae, they're going to cap that off, and there's some younger larvae too mm -hmm. in there. You can barely see it. You have to have really good I eyes. See it. And uh, that's why the black foundation is really good because you can see them better. Okay, we're going to work our way this way real quick. So go ahead and loosen those two, Peyton. These are really calm today. Excellent. Once you break them, then you can lift them with your hands now. One side and the other. You can set that down. These are not, these are cooperating today. They're, they're not coming after us. We bought these gloves at uh, Walmart. Walmart. What are you looking for first? The queen. Yeah, you look for your queen. Real gentle, you don't want to ever squish them. Don't squish them. You can move them a little bit. Don't squish them. Your queen might be under there. So, okay, I'm going to give me the frame. I want you to pull your glove up so that they don't get you. Let me see if I see anything in here. This is a drone comb here. There must be some nectar in there. That's what they're eating. Oh, yeah, there's some nectar. See the nectar? That's what yeah. they're eating. When they when they when you start smoking them they think there's gonna be a fire so they start trying to eat the nectar get ready to fly away if they have to so okay i don't see our queen on here so we're gonna put this one down let's let everybody look at that one a little bit closer see how cool that is this bigger um drawn out uh comb there is a uh, is is a uh, uh, drone cells so this one's almost all drone cells and we want to put the drone cells toward the outside of the the hive okay let's go to the next one over hey, let's put this over here in fact keep it out of the hole and then let's go to the next one over this one doesn't have a full foundation must have okay got a little bit of breeze going today folks so when it doesn't have full foundation all the way connected, be careful when you handle it. Because okay. if on a hot day, this could slide on you, okay? Oh, okay. So they're building this out. We didn't put any foundation on this one. It's all that we let the bees build it out so they're not as strong. And you can put wire across, too, or fishing line. Um, let's see here. You can blow on them, too, if you want to. So we're looking for our queen. And that, like, the lighter ones are just, like, younger? Yeah, the, the, the baby bees, when they come out, they're really light. They haven't got their full color yet. So what we're finding on here, no, not a lot of nectar. Um, but a nice, beautiful frame of bees. Let me show you. This doesn't have any foundation. Just pure wax. They made it. And they're making a lot of drone cone. And they made drone cone here and then regular here. It's kind of, these bees are kind of different that way. So let's go ahead and set this one aside. Go ahead and pull the next one out, Peyton, right here. Nice. Is your, is your sting starting to itch or anything? No. You can't hardly feel it? No. Good. You're a natural born beekeeper now. <laughs> so we're looking first for our queen. I don't suspect she'll be over here, but we just look anyway they do like new foundation um but this isn't drawn out enough but you never know where the queen's going to be sometimes 
She might get excited and run, <laughs> run from you. So they got a little bit of work to do there on the foundation. So you can slide them back in, Peyton. Always gentle. You're doing really well. Okay, now this one went next, right? Oops, sorry about that. Yeah. To fix that little wires coming out there. Okay, so that one goes next. And then we have another one up here. That one going right here. First year beekeeper right here. Look at her. She's doing it like a pro. Good job, Peyton. I'm going to pull this one out, Peyton. So we have some room because we're going to inspect and see if we can find our queen over here. We're also looking for queen cells that are developed. I think we already looked this one over. We'll give it another quick glance. Another quick glance. And then we'll put this one over here. Try to remember the spot. Okay, now we can work this way. I don't know if we already looked at that one or not. Let's go ahead and scoot them aside. Let's take a quick look. Go ahead and grab that. There you go. That's a nice, a decent pattern she's got going. There's a, a drone. Okay. It's got a beautiful pattern. I don't see her over here. So let's flip it over real quick. Let's see if we can see her over here. I always want to work them over the hive if you can, Peyton. In case she falls, she'll fall into her hive. Okay. I don't see her. I don't see any queen cells. Oops, getting hung up there. Let me look quick for an eggs. Yeah. Real quick. See, it's easier to see them on this black foundation. It's got a nice pattern going there. Gonna have some a lot of bees here soon. Okay. Let's set these aside over here. Did we pull them out this way? I think so. A lot of times you can tell too because if they cross comb a little bit there, you can see where it goes. Okay, the bee tool, and then excellent. Queen, nice root pattern. I see no queen cells getting started, so that's good. New baby bee there. Okay, flip them quick. See the other side. Oh, nice root pattern there. These are all packaged bees. Peyton picked her own hive. We have a video of her picking her hive. Okay, I don't see the queen. Go ahead and put it down. You can always come back through and look again. She's probably over here somewhere. Usually where the bulk of the bees are, that's where she is. We're seeing a few little ants around the hive, so I'll probably sprinkle some powdered cinnamon around the hive, and we'll go from there. Boy, they propolized that one now. And then to scoot them out of the way, Peyton, you just go like this. If you want to grab it from the middle. Okay. And you can pick them up just like that. And it can just, so try it. And I'll just flick them off. Okay. Nice. She's doing a good job. Beautiful pattern. I think we're getting close to her too. Getting close to our queen. Okay, flip it over. Oops, she's over here. A very brand new bee. They're getting ready to hatch. This is gonna this this uh this uh hive is about to really bust out on us and we're gonna have room problems soon and when these all hatch out. Okay, I don't see her. So we will put that one just slide it over a little bit. Good job. I'll help you out here. 
So how do I do these? I can just move them out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. Very gently. I could even use some smoke. I'm trying to smoke them as little as possible. Boy, this is really full of bees on this side. This is going to be one of them hard ones to find. <laughs> I think I saw her a couple weeks ago when you weren't here. I checked to check on her. She's done a fabulous job. They're going to fill this hive out soon. Yeah, look at that how thick that is. And that's a really young one, right? Yeah. We might even catch one emerging. Yeah, there's, see that nice pattern there? See those larvae? Mm hmm And there's some young, see how small these ones are? See up here? Mm hmm Right there? Or your queen, rather. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a lot of bees on this one. Shake a few more. They move the next one. Yeah. Oh. See, see right there? Another queen cell. Go ahead and smoosh that. And then pull it away so we can see if there was anything. I don't think there was an egg in it. Yeah, there was no egg. That's good. All right, that's what we're doing. We're looking for queen cells, and uh, that was an empty queen cell, so just what they call a starter cup, but we want to make sure since we're in here, we don't want them to swarm this late in the season, so then you just move them aside like that, smash them, just kind of move them aside. She might be on this one, so be careful. You might have run her to the last frame. Sometimes she'll run from frame to frame. And you'll find her usually on. Boy, look at them. They all went. Boy, this side of the hive is just packed. There she is. She ran exactly where I thought. See her? She's right there. Oh. See her? Yeah. Let's let them see her. Let's let everybody see her. Okay. Bring her over here. Here's Peyton's queen. And she's doing a fabulous job. They're about to really bust out. And uh, if you can see her right here, right there, she's beautiful. We gotta be really careful not to hurt her. So, see if we can catch her laying. So somebody can sponsor this beautiful queen and her work <laughs> and her beautiful hive. So she's nervous, let's put her back in. She's a young queen, so she's doing really well. Really pretty. Okay. I think I will go and do this. Sorry about the phone ringing, folks. So whenever I put the queen in, I always give her extra space. So just very carefully, and then. Everything back together. So we got a good inspection. We saw our queen. Lots of bees. Lots of eggs. Lots of brood. Right. So this this hive is about to really explode on us and do really, really well. So yes, very good. Excellent inspection. They're they're a fairly calm stock of bees. So now we gotta put these two in very carefully. In. What I do sometimes, Bob, I'm going to shake them. But you don't have to. Let's see if this one, this one probably didn't go there. Let's see if it goes here. Okay. All right, got it? Yeah. Slide it down really easy.
next one. Okay. Right here. We're not going to exclude it this time, Peyton. I want to encourage them to come up. Even if she goes up and lays, it'll be okay. Okay. Um, so, we're just going to do this. Get out of the way. Okay. Good to see her. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Put your inner cover back on. Like that. And then your lid. And then we'll do some note taking on what we saw today. Mainly there was no queen cells. Say bye, uh, Peyton, say bye. Bye. And see you on the mountain. Share, like, and subscribe.